Covering southeast Georgia now, a handful of restaurants in Glynn County have temporarily closed their doors for deep cleaning and to test all employees. This after a spike in coronavirus cases being reported by the Department of Health. More than 64,000 people have now tested positive in Georgia. News for Jack's reporter Brittany Muller looks into the precautions restaurants are taking to prevent the spread. As Governor Brian Kemp lifts and eases more COVID-19 restrictions in Georgia, the State Department of Public Health is reporting a spike in cases compared to last week. DPH has this graph on its website tracking positive COVID-19 cases over time. We looked into Glynn County. You can see a big jump over the past two weeks with an increase of nearly 90 cases. The county has 22 hospitalizations and three deaths, according to the website. Some restaurants temporarily closing because of it. Bubba Garcia's located on St. Simons Island posted this on Facebook saying it will be closed after a staff member tested positive for COVID-19. It plans on reopening on Tuesday after a deep cleaning of the restaurant. Brogan South also has an employee who tested positive. The restaurant says it wants to be upfront and honest. The employee has not been in the building for eight days. It is testing all employees and will be doing a deep cleaning of the restaurant before opening on Tuesday. Frosty's Griddle and Shake decided it will also close its doors to get employees tested. It says after learning one of its team members coming into direct contact with a positive case, it's closing so all employees can be tested for safety. It will reopen once the results are cleared. Just north of Brunswick in Darien, Skipper's Fish Camp Oyster Bar and Grill is back open after temporarily closing on June 14th. It reopened on the 19th after cleaning and testing all employees. The the statewide shelter in place order expired May 1st. Governor Brian Kemp says restaurants can now operate at full capacity, but tables must be six feet apart. Bars are allowed to have up to 50 people. Brittany Muller, Channel 4, the local station.